Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In our last lesson we talked about pages and margins and master pages, but in today's lesson we're going to talk about text frames and everything related to them. So let's go ahead and click on this button to create a text frame. You can also do it by clicking on the letter T on your keyboard, which is a shortcut for text frame in Scribus. Now you can type something inside this text frame, for example, hello, and you can adjust it right here with this window, text properties. You can change the font, for example, you can go with Algerian, and then you can also change the size of the font right here. Now let's go ahead and insert a sample text, okay? We can decide the language, so in our case it's English, and then we can decide the number of paragraphs, so let's go with five paragraphs, and they're going to be random paragraphs. You can also click to append to existing text, so for example, if I had another text frame, I could add this sample text to that text frame, but we do not have another text frame as of now, so let's just leave it at that and click on OK. As you can see, this is our sample text in English, but there's a little X right here. This is because there's an overflow of characters, so we have to either change the size of the text frame. So for example, if we expand it, see there's not an X anymore right here, because we manage the situation so there's not any overflow left. But if we undo that, there's another solution. So here it says to click to link to existing text frame, but we do not have another text frame, so we can auto create a new link text frame. So let's click on it and then click and press to create a new text frame right here. And as you can see, the remaining part of the sample text is in this other text frame right here and these two text frames are going to be forever linked so if we decide to take this portion and then copy it and then paste it here you can see that the new portion of the text was added and all of the text flew into this other text frame that you know we just linked but you can also do it by creating a new text frame so an existing one and then click on the X and then select this one so now they are linked well, let's see what else we can do let's delete all of this and let's add here something taken from the internet for example we can go on a website that creates dummy text for example this one you can decide how many words you want, for example, 500 words, or you can have it in characters too. Then let's click on copy to clipboard. Right here, let's go back to Scribus, okay? And then let's do control V, which is paste. And as you can see, we have our text, which was copied with the text properties of the text frames. So not the ones from the website. But you can change them up by selecting all of it and then of course changing it as we did earlier another thing that you can do is creating a text frame and then go on file and click on import and then get text right here so you can select a random text that is from word and as you can see we imported the text that was in our word document right here let's expand the text frame so you can see it and these font and these sizes are the ones from our Word document, but you can change them up by selecting it all. And then of course, changing the font and then the size right here. Another thing that can be really useful is going on view and then on text frames and then show control characters. So as you can see, there's these arrows that, that signal the changing of a line. And then you also see these little circles that stand for the spaces. And then these reversed P's that are the end of the paragraph. This is really useful because you can control everything that you are doing with your text. Another thing that you can do with your text frame 
if you go on the text properties, is going to columns and text distances, and you can change the columns of your text frame. So for example, right now we have only one, as you can see, but we can change it up to five columns, for example, and also change and manage the gap between the columns. So let's have it at eight millimeters right here. Okay. And so once you go on the preview mode, you'll see that your file is in columns. So it's really useful. Another thing that can be really helpful, for example, if we diminish the size of the text frame, is going on extras and go on hyphenate text. So right here, as you can see, we have a hyphenated word because of the space. So the word will not just go in the next line, but you will have the hyphenate right here. But of course, if you expand it, there's no need for the hyphenate in the text. But as you can see right here, we have hyphenate if we diminish the size of the text frame. One last thing that we can use is go on view and go on text frames and then show baseline grid. So this is the grid. And as you can see, the text frame is not aligned to the baseline grid. So let's go on line spacing, which is fixed as of now, and you can change it manually by doing this. But you can also have another option, which is aligned to baseline grid. So now you can see that every single line is aligned with the baseline grid. And then you can do all sorts of things. For example, you can select all of it and then change the position of the text. You can have it in the center or one side or the other and so on. So that's it for today, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated on our next videos to this new video course about Scribus.